Berwin, if you know John, they've got the World Firework Championship in Blackpool in a month's time. It'll be hard to match the pyrotechnic swing I'm going to see you right here tonight. Yeah, you're dead right, Dave. Can't think of a more fitting game to end what has been a fantastic first round here at Blackpool this year. Some wonderful throwing from so many wonderful players. And Barney and Van Gerwen, well, it, you have to go a long way to beat that. And if they do play at their level best, then watch out. If you're just joining us, where have you been so far this week? It's the best of 19 Nine legs. First to 10, 501 is the journey. They must finish on a double. You know the rules. Sit back, enjoy the fun. Barney who threw so, so well in Las Vegas had a tournament average of only just below 100, you know, and took Taylor to 13-11 in the final. He really did look good. And as we said, John, that uh, Raymond hasn't had very good memories. Hasn't been a happy home for him here. In fact, only a quarter finalist for the last two years. Now then, Van Gerwen in the ground! Straight away, Van Gerwen gets the first 180 of the match. And there'll be many, many more of those folks. Puts himself in with a shout if Barney doesn't take this out. What a chance now for Van Gerwen. That 180 has taken him down to a possible two-dart finish. Oh, that's... Oh, dear, dear, dear. He needed at least the single 17 to give himself 20 ball. That was careless. Yes, it was. And he's done the hard work. But you cannot see Raymond missing double nine. He has, though. Double two. Could have been more damaging. Double one. <laughs> And uh, that was a curious leg, wasn't it? An untroubled victory in that seventh leg. Van Gerwen just didn't trouble Barnabas on his throw, and that must be worrying for him and his followers. And that was a ragged start. That's all I can say about that. It was ragged, and uh, I think Van Gerwen got to the hockey far too quickly. He wasn't balanced when he was releasing the darts, and uh, paid the penalty. Now look at the difference. Rock steady. I'm not suggesting it's going to be a 180, but he got his tongue. There are still rough edges to Van Gerwen. It's, it's a raw talent that needs refining. He's learning and he will learn from playing against the likes of Raymond Van Barnevaert, who is calm and fluent and smooth as Gaelic coffee. 44. And they're hitting 44. <laughs> That's not very good Gaelic coffee, that, but I know what you mean, Dave. <laughs> 96. 96 for Gerwin, who's animated at times. Oh, yeah. Urge himself on. Well, he's throwing careless darts as well, in between the odd Full super throw, but uh, yet this is really a pub leg, isn't it, Dave? Well, he's had nine darts, hasn't broken into 200 yet, and that's unusual. 59. This is more like Barneveld. Much more like Raymond. Oh, he has, Ray has raised his game. And that stung Van Gerwen into retaliation. Oh, was it just? But it's uh, Barney with the advantage that... Uh, 180 in Dutch, I'm told, has helped his cause no end. That's it, uh, well... That's not what he was looking for, and now Van Gerwen could be in the van in this leg. But what a careless first start, Dave. What a careless first start. Travel 18 to leave, double 16 for Barnabas. Double 16, two clean throws, only needed one. That's really powerful finishing. The double in the opening leg. He did get the leg in the end with double one, we remember. But now, since then, his finishing has been terrific. Double top three times, double 16 first start once, and uh, really has looked more the part at the business end of the game. And that 58% is uh, far better, believe it or not, than the 67% you see below. And the reason is Barney's got the seven, Van Gerwen's only got the two. The percentage is not the important stat in that particular case. 
looks like another 180 coming up and just took the rascal of a deflection Only 60, and uh, hardly in the pink, Michael Van Gerwen. Usually you see him in lime green, don't we? I think, he's, I think he's bobbed up a bit uh, since we last seen him. 170. A, a bigger shirt, and there was an example of how Barnabo can switch on to balls effortlessly, seamlessly, and pick him out. So he picked that one out okay. Right, and, uh, in the ball. And... Uh, down he goes, tops he wants, misses it for a change, maybe not this time though, yes, now outside chance for Van Gerwen, 1-2-6. Needs the leg to stay in touch, to hang on in there, single 19 will leave the bull's eye, oh, a terrific finish, under great pressure the young man in the opening leg, in fact it's 9 out of 13 since then, that's good, that's very very good. 125. Very reassuring performance from Barnabel for his followers. Has not really looked to fat. The, uh, the ropiest leg he played was the first one, it has to be said. Yeah, scored okay, but uh, ended up on double one. But as I said then, that's past that's history. It's, a leg and it's better to finish on double one in 18 hours than not finish at all. 90. He's a very disappointed man. He needs a run in a tournament, as uh, the crafty Cockney was saying before this match started. What is going to come in the match play? Yeah. That's and for sure. I think he fancied his chance against Barnum. I really yeah. do. I, well, think. We, I think we all felt quietly that he was in the chance. Certainly right. tempted by five to one. So I didn't pack it. Could be the match here, 136 the shot. Oh, that was a mile away. Even Barnabas bewildered by that one. I didn't see the way he retrieved the situation. But, and Gerwin could pull out another big finish, but he's not going to do it. And it looks like the fat lady is gargling and is ready to sing for Michael Van Gerwen as Barnabas looks at double 16. And he's hardly missed a double six the first leg. A comfortable cruise for Raymond Van Barnabelt. He's through.